So now I would like to demonstrate uh, the hi-hats in the snake series. We have three different sizes of 12, 13, and 14 inch, these being the 14 inch uh, uh, hi-hats. And this would be the top hi-hat and this is the bottom hi-hat. And the unique feature, of which is kind of uncommon with hi-hats, is we have them uh, fitted, uh, outfitted with the rivet design uh, to create that snake effect. And as you can see, there's two on one side and two on the other side. So you have a kind of uh, not a very uh, overbearing uh, uh, sizzle effect, but it's equalized on both sides. On the bottom hi-hat, inverted, we have the rivets. So from the hi-hat itself with two symbols, you have two different sounds, uh, snake sounds, within the one instrument. And uh, now I'm going to take all three sizes of the tops and show you a little bit of variations in, in the, the uh, sound qualities. The weight of the cymbals um, are very compatible to being used also as small crashes or splashes. And so I'd like to demonstrate that now. So here I have all three sizes of the tops of the hi-hats. So as you can see, there's two rivets here and two rivets here. On my hi-hat, I have outfitted with two small rivets here and two large ones here on the 12-inch. Uh, so I'll kind of give you a little demonstration about the different pitches and uh, the sound variations. I'll use my hands, I'll use soft mallets, and I'll use sticks. This is with soft timpani mallets. So now I'll demonstrate a little bit about the hi-hats in the traditional context of using the, the, the hi-hat machine. Uh, these are the 13-inch hi-hats, which are the middle of the series between the 12 and the 14. Uh, just in the first thing I'll show is just to demonstrate the, the uh, variance between the top and the bottom symbol, uh, as they are both fitted with rivets, although a little bit different weight uh, causes a, a, a different effect. But what the nice thing is that you get from one instrument here, the hi-hat, two varied sound possibilities. So I'll start with the top and then the bottom. So from that example, you can see the bottom has a much longer sustain because of, of the weight of the cymbal. It, 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 it vibrates much longer than the top cymbal. So you have a, a nice little contrast within the one instrument. Next I will demonstrate with normal jazz sticks. <laughs> 